$2,371 in federal grant funding to be used to purchase uh, ammunition. Item E is a budget amendment in the Sheriff's Office. We're asking for budget $2,775 in state funds to be used for vehicle injury prevention training at Burns and Crest High School. Item F is a budget amendment in the Public Schools Department. We're asking you to budget $53,475 and state lottery funds to be used for school debt service. This is to offset 
some federal funding that was lost during the sequestration process. Item G is a budget amendment in the health department. We're asking you to budget $369,719 in state Medicaid funds to be used in the Carolina Access Program. This is a pilot program targeting people who have been to the emergency room at least five times <coughs> in the last eight years with a diagnosis that's compounded by mental health issues. They're trying to find a way to keep these people out of the emergency room and treat them more economically. Item F is a request to extend the remaining loan payback from the Council on the Aging from four years to eight years. The current payments are $14,000 a year, and if you choose to double the payback period, they will be re reduced to $7,000 $7, a year. Um, this request comes due to the loss of some state and federal funding over the last couple of years. They're trying to just balance the budget. <coughs> Their payments have been on time up to this point in time. But again, this is a request to extend the time period from four years to eight years. The outstanding balance is $56,000. Thank you. Commissioners, this time, any questions of Kevin Peter? <coughs> In the Jet Islands. Here's none. I ask for a motion to consent the agenda to be approved. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as is. I have a motion for Commissioner Hutchins. I'll second. Second Commissioner Allen. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of consent agenda, please raise your right hand. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. <coughs> uh, time for a public hearing. Uh, TAC, Rural Operating System Program Grant. Uh, Bob, would you like to come up? Thank you, Bob. I'm Bob Davis, Executive Director of TAC. Uh, I usually have some backup, but it looks like they're all back out. I don't see them in the board room, so I invited them. I uh, do want to mention uh, that North Carolina DOT likes to gather statistical information, and on the uh, second seat in the back right there is a Title VI voluntary statistical forms. If anybody wants to fill those out, it's all voluntary. Uh, here tonight to request approval and signatures to submit the road application to North Carolina DOT in the amount of $231,751 for the 13-14 fiscal year. Any questions? Mr. Do you have any questions about this time? I do have questions and comments. You know, I do know that uh, Organization of the supervisor, yeah. the, the seniors and some of the disabled to and from the doctor's appointment the places they need to go. And uh, they want to say thanks for what y'all do to on the amounts that you, you get. Appreciate it. Now, these funds are for the folks that do not have any uh, Medicaid or any other funding source. So that's what we use this for. Now, last year, someone asked a question about what our plans were for this year. Last year we talked to Gardner Way up and uh, Bowling Springs officials about maybe running the route over there during the day a couple times. And the only thing they wanted was a midnight run to cookout on Saturday night. <laughs> and with these funds, we can't do that. So uh, we are trying to look at uh, maybe the Fawcett and, and Lawndale areas making a run through there twice a day to see if there's anyone who wants to come into town. That's up with our CCP. I'll go make those sounds available just a minute for further questions. Sure. We need to. At this time, we'll declare a public hearing open. Anyone wishing to speak for or against the grant application may come up to the podium at this time. Anyone wish to speak for or against the grant application? Take your name and address. And where you would file that. My name is Robert A. Williams, A4 D Stage 5. Trail, Lawndale, except I live in the middle of Austin, right side of the town. I, you know, I've been up here many times saying the same thing, and I'm going to say it again. I've asked every time at a public hearing, I'd like to know what the public hearing is all about in advance. I've even went as far as to invoke the Freedom of Information Act and still <coughs> no response. Robert, I've been, honestly, I'm curious. Well, it says public hearing on the agenda. It says for 
program grant application. Uh, the oh, you got to that part yet. Okay, go ahead. Now, if you know, if all you know is what Mr. Davis just told you, you don't know anything about what this is all about. And I don't know anything. That's a bad, this is a bad situation. And I would urge you not to vote for it. But you have no information that you're willing to show. I'm not through yet. I've got three minutes. I'm going to have more than half of here. <clears throat> well, thank you. I'll stay here all night. All right. We'll stay here all night. <laughs> if, you have, if you have anything additional that you're looking at that I don't see or anybody else is seeing, why don't you just pass it around real quick? You know, now, time, time to the point. You the have point. time, you can make statements, maybe. My statement is I've asked for this information personally. Right here for the record, a number of times, and in writing under the Freedom of Information under the Freedom of Information Act, and I have been refused this information at every turn. I have no information, no information on this on this grant that they're asking for. And you told me one time before, you told everybody from from your seat right there. Then you you don't like to see these things until right here at the last. No, that's not the truth. Well, well I, don't like to hear I don't like to hear anything about economic development. But other hearings are different things. Keep going. Yeah, I've also said the most secret meeting in Cleveland County is a is a public hearing. You're having an opportunity to speak. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Bell, do you want to speak? So, just wanted to, to make the public aware that <clears throat> I sent out the, the actual agenda at the end of last week, and all these items are on there. If you click on the agenda, which is a public document, and, I, and, I, and you click on the items in the agenda, all the information is there. So the public is actually given this information the week before, I, I sent it out on Friday. So all the information that the commissioners see, you can also see through the, through the website. That That's exactly, it. so they have this information prior to, and, and also the public, the information is available to them. And this, is, glad, right, glad to give you what I've and this is right off our, our website. <clears throat> okay, and well, I, I did, I did ask, ask for this kind of thing. At least some instructions in advance on where to find Because I think you're on my side. With enough time, with enough time to review it, not coming up. Okay. With enough time to review it. If it was available, I didn't know where it was. Here, you think that's my fault. No, no, we're still in public here, and I'm sorry. We have. We have. Any conditions speak for or against the grant application? Please come forward at this time. We should, we should speak for or against. Please come forward this time. Hearing no other, I declare the public hearing closed. Commissioners, any questions about? Bob, you like to come back. Any questions about, about the grant application? Hearing none, Bob, thank you. Um, commissioners, at this time, I'd like to have a vote on the grant application for TAC. I'll make a motion we accept it. A motion for Mr. Hutchins. Second. Second. Vice Chair. Any discussion about the grant? Hearing none, all in favor, please raise your right hand. Bob, thank you very much. Should I just say one more thing? Just, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, to uh, address what he was asking about, we did our, uh, what DOT asked us to do. We both posted, posted this in the newspapers, posted throughout Cleveland County and senior centers libraries and other places uh, and it, it's, it says in the public hearing notice that you can view this grant application at the TAC office and we post it every time we do the grant. Thank you Bob, appreciate what you did. Our next agenda item is in our regular agenda and is the Historic Preservation Commission board appointments. 
back in July, uh, when we uh, looked at your, the board appointments, we had brought the Historical Preservation Commission before you. At that time, we really didn't have enough information um, to present to you as far as jurisdictions and, and how people can serve, um, because there are requirements as far as in-county planning, outside county planning. Um, so Mr. McCarter and I have done some research and have, have um, gone through the list of applications and we're bringing before you uh, three uh, folks for appointment to the Historic Preservation. Uh, we ask that you appoint one member from a, any municipal planning jurisdiction and two members from the county planning jurisdiction. So we have three uh, citizens before you. All of their terms would expire in December 2016. Mr. Speaker, the names of uh, the appointed Historic Preservation Commission.
group there that, uh, that we were really appreciative of that type of a forum. And that, uh, that it's okay if you guys know that we really appreciate it, and especially the type of classes that they had and the, and the people who were there uh, giving those classes. And then, um, of course, uh, you mentioned the Commission for Women. We honored four women that night that really um, deserve being mentioned. Um, I have to say that I'm remiss of not having their names before me. But uh, uh, the paper, I thank for those names and thank you for doing that because very important to recognize those women who contributed so much to the town. See, anything else? There's a lot of stuff going on. There's too much stuff going on. Uh, David? Uh, Carrie? Uh, uh, Carrie, do you have any dates for us to look at? Uh, um, for your session? Right now, uh, I have the dates. Um, looks like the week of the 23rd, 20th, towards the end of the month, but there's a lot going on at the beginning of the month. So right now, I have the Twenty third, twenty fourth, or twenty sixth. Uh, Commissioners, if you will get back with Terry on any of those dates that seem good for you, we'll try to balance that out. I also, I also put the goal before you if you guys want to kind of be looking over them and maybe um, put some priorities on them for the next month. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just speed up things a little bit for you know, what you want to say. Thank you. Fair, the first night of the fair, the three nights, everybody calls it the 26th. Okay. I think. So.